The next skill we're going to perform is conscious oral care. The supplies you'll need are a waterproof barrier for your work surface, a towel, mouthwash, toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss, lip balm, a cup with water, and a cup for your mouthwash solution, and an emesis basin. I'm going to wash my hands and apply gloves before beginning this skill. Hi Beth, my name's Mari, I'm going to be your aide today. Am I? I'm here to do your oral care, is that okay? Yes. Okay. I'm going to put the head of the bed up at a 90 degree angle and make sure the bed is up at a good working level for me. I'm going to use my towel as a barrier and place it across Beth's chest. All right, I'm going to move the table in front of Beth and start by giving her a small sip of water to moisten her mouth. I will apply toothpaste to the toothbrush and begin brushing her teeth. I use a front to back motion to clean the outside surfaces of the teeth, to clean the chewing surfaces of the teeth, and again to clean the inside surfaces of the teeth. I'll also make sure I use a front to back motion to clean her tongue. I'll move to the front and use an up and down motion to clean the front of the teeth. After the teeth are clean, I'll offer the emesis basin so she can spit out the extra toothpaste. I'll offer water so that she can swish and spit. Next, I will take a piece of dental floss that will be approximately 18 inches long. I will wind it on my fingers and I will floss in between two teeth and then I will move down the dental floss. Floss, floss, shift. Floss, floss, shift. Until I floss in between all of her teeth. Next, I will offer a small sip of water to rinse her mouth again. Then I will offer her mouthwash solution with one part of mouthwash to three parts of water. And I will allow her to rinse for approximately 30 seconds. After her mouth is rinsed, I will use a corner of the towel to pout her face dry. And I will offer her lip balm as long as she's not on oxygen. With a patient who's on oxygen, we do not use petroleum-based lip balms as oxygen is combustible. I will then remove my supplies and remove her towel. The towel will go into the, my laundry hamper. I'll return the bed back down to 30 degrees with the side rails up, put the bed in low position, and make sure that Beth has her call light in reach. How's that, Beth? Okay, thank you. Now I'm going to clean up my supplies, take off my gloves, wash my hands, record, and report.